Advocate Salimane Pafane KC says the evidence brought against the granting of bail is baseless because those who indicate that the applicant is a threat to their life have never reported the matter to the police. In addition, he said the spouse of the applicant is ill and needs proper care. The most compelling of those, my lord, is the fact that this appellant, this applicant, has already been on bail. This court admitted her to bail. She did not violate a single condition of her bail, only that the court had made an error in the way that it had dealt with the application. I dealt with that yesterday. She spent four months on her bail. She did not, did not contravene a single condition that had been imposed on her. That is a compelling reason in my humble submission, Lord, why the court will find it appropriate to admit her to bail. The respondent lawyer, Atini Munahin Rasekwai, pointed out that the illness of the applicant's spouse is not an excuse and reasonable, and it would be rational to consider it if the applicant was the one sick. Before you, my lord, you have the evidence of the second in command of a law enforcement institution. The Insutu Mounted Police Services. He says, this lady, or this petitioner, who wouldn't have the flag, <clears throat> is associated with a posse of gangsters of farm music. Before you, you have the affidavit, which is not even hearsay, of a victim of this brutal murder, implicating directly the same petitioner who wouldn't have a flag. Before you, you have a close, the evidence of the closest of allies, or the former ally, of the same petitioner, the administrator of the Maiza Tawani, uh, Tawani Trust Fund, saying that she took the monies to the gangsters. From her, which she had gotten from the Chinese, that's what she says. And my, my Lord, I ask a rhetorical question which I'm going to endeavor to answer. What more does this honorable court need to be convinced that not only does she have the propensity to kill not only flies but human beings?